The first is the poem is called Water, and um, the setting is a small main town that's a fishing, commercial fishing village, not a tourist village. And um, it's a sort of love poem, the two people there in this town, visitors, sitting on a rock watching the water. And the water could stand both for sort of liberation, freedom, and uh, something soothing, and uh, for something dangerous, that the water's too cold to swim in, you'd die if you're in it for long. Uh, um, those two things. And the poem started from an image that made no sense to me, that just came to me once as I was going to sleep, about an iris rotting and turning purple. And uh, I held on to that, and it's, uh, I still don't quite know what it means in the poem, but it's one of the centers. Water. It was the main lobster town. Each morning, boatloads of hands pushed off for granite quarries on the islands and left dozens of bleak, white frame houses stuck like oyster shells on a hill of rock. And below us, the sea lapped the raw little matchstick mazes of a weir where the fish for bait were trapped. Remember? We sat on a slab of rock. From this distance in time, it seems the color of iris rotting and turning purpler. But it was only the usual gray rock turning the usual green when drenched by the sea. The sea drenched the rock at our feet all day and kept tearing away flake after flake. One night you dreamed you were a mermaid clinging to a wharf pile and trying to pull off barnacles with your hands. We wished our two souls might return like gulls to the rock. In the end, the water was too cold for us. 